Hey guys, it's Tempo Psalm here. Today I'm going to be covering a couple of important Phoenix mechanics and some tips and tricks on how to improve your gameplay and your effectiveness on Phoenix. Those two things are going to be utilizing Arsenal Synergy uh, to its maximum potential and the second would be uh, a phase bomb auto attack cooldown reduction kind of reset mechanic. We'll go ahead and start with the phase bomb reset mechanic. So phase bomb has a really long auto attack cooldown. Phoenix on this mode attacks maybe three quarter times a second. So if you go ahead and look at a DPS on the target dummy here, I'm just gonna stand still. Not gonna do the mechanic. We'll see that the DPS will eventually even her out around 90 DPS. <clears throat> And here I'll show you with the mechanic how much the DPS increases by. So it goes almost to around 115 to 120, which is around a 25 to 30% DPS increase, uh, which is uh, if you want to be maximizing your potential and your effectiveness in a game uh, in whether it's a wave clear or fighting or pushing or whatever this is a very important mechanic to learn basically how you want to do this mechanic is you start up with face bomb uh, as soon as you right click on a target you want to press w immediately right so it's going to be right click and then w immediately and you're going to issue a move command to the side so that it doesn't you know attack again on repeater cannon and then you're gonna swap immediately back in a right click so and then after you are releasing your phase one again you're gonna immediately swap back when you're on repeater cannon you want to be able to swap back as fast as possible and then get your auto attack out so right click swap and then once this cooldown is back up you want to swap immediately back Right click swap, swap back, right click swap, and swap back. It's easy to do if you're mashing down W, like you could, you know, you can just keep mashing it. And you can get it done. But this is kind of tiring and not very realistic to do, you know, all the time. It might be actually slight, slightly faster, but it's not very realistic. It's easy to get into a rhythm. And once you get that rhythm down, it's it's not actually all that tiring. It's a lot lax. Basically, this will enable you to do a giant camp faster than normal. Because you want to be splashing on the multiple targets. Uh, if you're in team fight and you want to keep extra range, be safer as a backline, you know, this is useful. Um, even for wave clearing faster, uh, obviously you want to be in phase bomb if you want to be wave clearing. And then you'll wave clear faster in this way as well. So you'll be able to rotate faster, you'll get more DPS out, you get a mercs out faster. And there's that mechanic. Um, the second thing I want to show you guys is Arsenal Synergy. Getting the maximum value out of this talent. I see a lot of people making mistakes with this talent. And let me go ahead and show you guys what most people are doing on this talent. So what this talent does is if you attack three times a repeater cannon, It'll empower the next basic attack, 175% more damage and splash. So what I see a lot of people doing is they'll shoot three times in repeater cannon and then they'll swap immediately to phase bomb. And phase bomb will take so long to come out because they swap to the phase bomb mode so fast. Like it just takes too long for the phase bomb to come out. How the auto attack reset mechanic works and how this mechanic is going to work is based on the same thing. Basically, Phoenix has two different modes, which means uh, he has two different auto attack cooldowns or cooldown speeds rather. So, you know, obviously if you're in repeat repeater cannon, which is the faster mode, your auto attack comes up faster. So with this mechanic, you want to spend as much time in the repeater cannon cooldown reduction mode and swap to phase bomb at the last, last possible moment before shooting your phase bomb out so that your phase bomb will come out faster. The faster you swap to phase bomb, the slower your auto attack is going to reset. So 
Once again, this is what I see a lot of people do. See how long that takes. And I'll show you guys how to do it the correct way here. Uh, basically, try to imagine yourself going for a fourth repeater cannon attack, except right before your fourth attack, you press W. So your phase bomb comes out instead, so. See how much faster that comes out. Uh, it looks it looks like I almost don't lose any auto attack speed. It looks like the phase bomb comes out completely in rhythm along with my other repeater cannon shots. So, you know, a big trick here is try to stay and linger in repeater cannon mode as long as you can so that that phase bomb does not lag coming out. And basically, if you can get this down, um, you know, you'll be able to get a lot more damage in. And the thing about, so the thing about lagging and not getting this mechanic down correctly is a lot of times you're gonna be chasing down targets and they're gonna be getting away because you're kind of just sitting there with your phase model taking so long to come out. So if you're able to get your phase model out quickly, you're gonna get more shots in. Just because, you know, people won't be able to run as far away if you're not just standing there waiting for your phase model to come out. So if you do this incorrectly, let me, let me show you just how much DPS you get. So you get around 210 and in comparison So you'll get around 235, uh, 230. So you can already tell that's a 20 to 30 damage per second increase, uh, which is pretty significant. Not only that, it'll feel a lot more fluid. You know, obviously my point before, if, if people are gonna be running away, you can't just sit there waiting for your phase bomb to come out. You need to be kiting with them. A nice little comparison to mobile offense. One thing that people might not know is if you do arsenal synergy correctly, you will actually have more single target DPS than if you just chose mobile offense. So with mobile offense, my DPS is gonna hover. Let's see. Looks like it's kind of stabilizing around 225-ish. So you get around 240, 238, uh, 235 plus. It's not the most significant DPS increase, but the important fact here is you don't actually get more single target DPS out of mobile offense, which is uh, popular belief. You actually get more single target off of Arsenal Synergy, uh, given you do it correctly. So there's my uh, pretty much my two tips and tricks uh, for most Phoenix players to get better and up their game. Another big reason why I like Arsenal Synergy is because it increases the splash area. So if you hit one, two, three targets, sometimes you'll get like four or five. Or even if you're just wave clearing, it just gets so much value when you can get an amped 175% more damage on top of the crit bonus you get from just switching to phase bomb. It, it's, it just gets so much value. You chunk many people out at the same time. Uh, one other big reason is you get really good synergy with the shield steel talent. So if you can hit multiple heroes or you hit like, you know, bunch of minions plus a hero on an amped auto, you're going to be getting a lot of shield back. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope this helps you guys up your game on Phoenix. There you have it.